Good morning, church family, and welcome to Youth Sunday. My name is Courtney Krause, and I'm the Director of Youth Ministries here at Mount Pleasant Presbyterian Church. We are so excited to have you worshiping with us. We hope you can enjoy our service virtually at 9 o'clock, virtually at 1030, or in person at 1130 in person. Our youth have been hard at work creating these services for you, so we hope that you enjoy. The high school youth were the ones that chose the theme of reconnection based on the crazy COVID era that we have all endured together. I invite you today to think about how you have reconnected with yourself, with others, and with God over the past year. Our high school seniors will lead the sermon and I am excited to hear their faith story and how it connects with our theme of reconnection, but also with their faith story of MPPC. I would like to thank everyone that made these services possible, but also youth ministry in general. It truly takes a village, and I'm going to list the youth advisors that make that happen. Thank you to all of you. Jeff Taylor, Shannon Haygood, TJ Del Duca, Michael Purcell, Missy and Jim Westerhold, Claire and Will Whitsett, Jennifer Bilbro, Barry Blackburn, Cynthia Rivers, Clark Allen, Caroline Cochran, and our intern, Carter Edwards. Additionally, today, you'll notice that we have purple and other colors incorporated into our Youth Sunday service. The purple is because one of our own youth, Lila Gary, was diagnosed with leukemia recently. Lila, we are here for you and supporting you, and we will be with you every step of the way. Beat it, bird. Friends, now let us worship our risen Lord together on this Youth Sunday. Your love is like radiant diamonds bursting inside us. We cannot contain your love will surely come find us like blazing wildfire singing your name God of mercy see you love of mine I have surrendered to your design may this offering stretch across the skies these have
my wrestling and in my doubts in my failures you won't walk out your great love will lead me through you are the peace in my troubled sea whoa you are the peace in my troubled sea in the silence you won't let go in the questions your truth will hold your great love will lead me through you are the peace in my troubled sea whoa you are the peace in my troubled sea my lighthouse my to show
When we feel like we have been disconnected, you have embraced us, O Lord. Praise be to God for reconnection. We have reconnected with ourselves, others, and you, O Lord. Praise be to God for reconnection. Let us worship our risen Lord together. Praise be to God for reconnection. Please join me in the prayer of confession. Lord, time and time again, you defy our expectations. We try to disconnect from you, but your love and grace bring us back together. In a world that seems full of chaos, socially and politically, help us to find justice in the reconnection with ourselves and others. You are the one who calls us by name and know when we mess up. God, we are always going to mess up. But please, help us to remember that you are there to help us when we misstep. We confess to you this day that we do not always make the right choices and that we need to be reconnected with you today. And every day we confess this to you. Amen. Church family, let us hear the good news together. Even when we feel disconnected, our Heavenly Father forgives us from friends, and that is the good news. You are forgiven. Thanks be to God. Let us share the good news with each other. Church, you are forgiven. Please pass the peace of Christ with your neighbors virtually by texting or in person by showing them a sign of peace. May the peace of Christ be with you. Hi, I'm Isabel. I'm Madeline. And we are excited to do the children's sermon with you today, even though we cannot gather together. Raise your hand if you've ever done a puzzle. Now raise your hand if you've ever lost a puzzle piece under the couch, maybe threw it away, or maybe your dog ate it. Now, are you able to complete a puzzle if you're missing one or many pieces? No. As you can see, this puzzle isn't finished. It's missing some pieces. Because of that, the puzzle isn't complete. It's hard to understand. Our lives are a lot like a puzzle. God adds in the missing puzzle pieces that we need to make our puzzle, our life, complete. We need God in our lives to make it complete. Without God being in our lives, it's super hard to see and understand the full puzzle picture, just like our life seems to be hard to understand. It's really easy to remove puzzle pieces from this photo. It's really easy to disconnect the pieces just like we disconnect from God. However, by reconnecting with God, we put the puzzle pieces back in and our puzzle is once again complete. The same applies for our lives. As we reconnect with God, we can better understand our life. We need your help reconnecting the puzzle. If you are watching virtually, you can come by the church and pick up a puzzle piece to decorate. Let us pray. Dear God, help us to continue to fill in our puzzle with pieces of you and your love. Help us reconnect with you after we may have lost some puzzle pieces. Amen. Church, please bow your heads as we pray to connect together with God. Almighty One, open our ears so we may hear your word. Open our minds so we may understand what is written. And open our hearts to live out your holy word. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Our reading today on this youth Sunday comes from the New Testament. The book of John, chapter 15, verses 1 through 11. Listen now for the word of the Lord. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He removes every branch of me that bears no fruit. 
Every branch that bears fruit he prunes to make it bear more fruit. You have already been cleansed by the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me as I abide in you. Just as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who abide in me and me and them and I and them bear much fruit. Because apart from me and you can do nothing, whoever does not abide in me is thrown away like a branch and withers. Such branches are gathered, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask for whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. My Father is glorified by this, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. As my Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hello, I'm Lily Westerhold, and I'm a senior at Wando High School, and in the fall, I plan to attend Anderson University as a business major. I have considered NPPC my home away from home for as long as I can remember. I was baptized here, received my third grade Bible, went through confirmation, and then found my way to the basement. Growing up in the church, I have always been surrounded by godly people. With God's help, the, the people of NPPC have molded me into the person I am today, and I am forever grateful. Serving as a youth elder this year has really opened my eyes and taught me so much about the church. Speaking of opening my eyes, I really experienced God a few summers ago through mission and youth trips. Standing at the top of the hill by the church at the Lamb Institute in Honduras, I felt God's presence. From that moment on, I've tried to find God's presence by living in the moment and spending quality time with the people I love. I have also seen God and the boys living at Winwood Farm in Onda. Every time I start to complain about something, I think of them and my complaint no longer seems worthy of a complaint. As our theme is reconnection, recently, because of COVID, I, and I'm sure many of you have as well, we're able to maybe not reconnect because hopefully we never lost sight of God in our lives, but we have made him more of a priority. Again, I want to thank my NPPC family for raising me and molding me into who I am today. Thank you. Two. <laughs> hey, my name is Reed Thomas. I'm a senior at Wando High School. Hi, my name is Jackson Bover and I'm also a senior at Wando High School. Through NPPC, we have learned to develop a great relationship with God and others through trips and lots of other great activities. We've made a lot of great friends over the years and we're going to be really sad to leave next year. Hi, my name is Amelia Hathaway and I am currently a senior at Wando High School. In the fall, I will be attending the Honors College at the University of South Carolina studying international business in Spanish. I became a member at NPPC in 2003 when I was baptized. I grew up in this church being very involved in Sunday school and vacation Bible school each summer. In middle school, I went on the cross mission trip and was confirmed in 2017. In high school, I went to the Montreat Youth Conference and loved growing closer to God in such a beautiful and peaceful place. As high school progressed, my commitment to ballet and dance grew stronger and stronger. I began to miss Sunday school, youth group, and Bible study, things that had been very important to me. Then the pandemic hit and I was worried about how this would affect everything. But the church and the youth found a new way to connect through the Cornerstone Youth Ministry and high school Bible studies. I have enjoyed reconnecting to the church through these groups and appreciate them so much for providing new ways to get involved after our world has changed in big ways. I would like to restate this verse from this morning's scripture that stood out to me. Abide in me as I abide in you. Just as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. Each day as I continue to learn the importance of trusting God, even when you face uncertainty or scary things in life, thank you and I'm excited to see what God has planned for me and for all of the youth at MPPC. Hi. My name is Mayla Purcell, and I'm currently a senior at Wando High School, but next year I'll be attending Appalachian State University to study building sciences with a focus on architectural technologies and design. According to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, faith is known as a firm belief in something for which there is no proof. The Mount Pleasant Presbyterian Church has shown me proof that God is real and is in everyone around us. The first time I truly remember seeing God was at Cross Missions Camp. 
We were doing the walk of the homeless and we ran into a man. He looked at all of us young middle schoolers and said, even if you have nothing to give us, give us a smile, treat us like the people we are. I've remembered this since that moment. I truly saw God in that man and I know God was trying to teach me life lesson and I still live by that today. Next would be the Lamb Orphanage in Honduras. This place is a special spot in my heart. All of the children there have had their own hardships, but have a stronger belief in God than anyone else I've ever known. For example, I am La Hermana de Alma, or God sister, of a cute little seven-year-old boy. His mother is Honduran and his father's from Nicaragua. The orphanage has no clue where his mother is. She has not been seen of or heard from in years. His father is not allowed to have custody of him for legal reasons that are unknown to me. This little boy still has the brightest smile you've ever seen, and when sitting next to him during church, the way he dances and belts out to the songs really shows you that his faith in God is real, and he knows that God has a plan for him. This little boy, Jason, has shown me proof that my faith is real. Another part of this trip is getting to know the amazing local Hondurans who are by our side every day, helping us every step of the way. One of them I personally have made a special connection with. His name is Angel, a true angel if you ask me. After lunch, every day, he pulls out his guitar and starts to play songs. One moment that brings me to tears is when he starts to sing, How Great Is Our God. It'll be pure silence on top of the mountaintop. Then as soon as he gets to the chorus, the wind will just start to blow. I believe that this wind is the Holy Spirit. And I know that my faith was real in that moment. Lastly is our very own Reverend Dr. Peter Bynum. I know he would be a large part of my faith journey after getting to know him on the ski trip back in 2020. Being able to get to know a preacher outside of the church and hear about how he became a preacher allowed me to feel more comfortable asking him the hard questions about my faith. I can say in full honesty, his sermons were the first ones that I truly felt a connection with. The way he talked about God gave me an understanding I've never had before. Even his online children's sermons showed how much he cared about us youth and how much he wanted us to have the understanding. Reverend Dr. Peter Bynum has given me proof that my faith is real. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Rogers and I am a senior at Wando High School this year and in the MPPC youth group. I am attending, I will be attending Wofford College in the fall, go Terriers, and I have always been super involved with my MPPC youth group and I really started to get super involved in the summer after eighth grade when I went to Montreat with my with my church family and my brother really urged me to go um, because I did not want to, but I'm super thankful and happy that he did because I would not have formed so many relationships with the people in our church family. So I'm super thankful for that. And ever since then, um, youth group has just been a place where I could reconnect with God and with all of those relationships, even when high school and friendships and just school in general got super stressful, it always allowed me to reconnect with God and, you know, grow in my faith, even on the, especially on the weekends with Sunday school and youth group. And then during the week with logos after school and Bible study, it just always, you know, was a place for me to connect with God. So I'm super thankful for them and how supportive and loving they've been in the past four years and truly throughout my whole life. So I'm super thankful for them and I will miss them dearly the next four, the next four years when I'm at college. But I look forward to coming back from college, always knowing that I can attend MPPC and they will help me reconnect and continue to grow in my faith with God. So thank you so much and I'll miss y'all. Hello, my name is Willis Brownin and I'm a senior at Wando High School. I'm grateful for Mount Pleasant Presbyterian Church for giving me a great group of friends that I could take my faith journey with. Here are some examples. As my mom was a Sunday school teacher for Fritz, my younger brother, Sundays were days where I consistently went to get breakfast and then go to my Sunday school classroom. I always look forward to seeing the same faces because I knew they would be there and I would get to laugh and hang out with them as we spoke about God. I would celebrate donut days in the elementary school years of Sunday school and then making pancakes during the high school years. Vacation Bible school was something that a few of my friends could do because of the countless summer things. But the experiences of going through VBS at such an early age and then being able to teach and coach younger kids when playing King Crab, something that I won't ever forget and something that has made me closer to God. 
Watching these younger kids deepen their faith has also strengthened my own. Something people may not think is a big part of church is how every Thursday Chick-fil-A prayer breakfasts can bring members of our church together. Since the early parts of high school, I was able to have fun talking to people I don't always get the chance to talk to when having breakfast together. It was a nice way in which I was able to have tighter connections and then being able to tie some of these connections to prayer. The first year of Montreat, I was eligible to go, but didn't because I didn't recognize the significance of it. However, after some of my friends came back and told me how meaningful it'd be, I knew I had to go. Montreat was an experience like no other because of the opportunities that I was able to become closer to my group of friends as well as God. Spending an entire week in one room with the same group of people for two years has allowed me to become tighter and have people I could turn to. For me, MPPC is more about connections than reconnections, and it's about memories and the foundation it's given me to grow closer to God. Hi, my name is Andrew Black. I'm currently a senior at Wando High School, and I'll be attending Clemson next year and studying biology. Uh, Mount Pleasant Presbyterian Church has been an important part of my faith journey since I was baptized as a baby. I attended preschool at the Learning Center. I've been to Sunday school and VBS over the years and was confirmed in this church in the eighth grade. I've made lifelong friends at MPPC and I've enjoyed many of the trips we have taken as youth, including Awanata, Camp St. Christopher, Sugar Mountain, and especially Montreat. I want to thank Courtney and the high school leaders for all they have done for the youth in the church. Thank you. Hey, I'm Allie Streck. I am a senior at Academic Magnet, and I don't know where I'm going to college yet. It's undecided, either Wake Forest or William & Mary. Um, that will be decided soon. Um, but I have been a part of the MPPC youth group for four years now, I'd say. I wasn't super involved in middle school, spent a lot of time doing club soccer, but um, going into my freshman year of high school, um, my good friend Elizabeth Rogers, who's also part of MPPC youth group, um, she really urged me to go to Montreat that year. Um, and. You know, I didn't really know anybody. I was really scared, but now I'm so thankful that she did because as a senior looking back, um, some of the friends I made through MPPC, um, they've really just gotten me through high school and I'm so thankful to have them in my life. And I've really feel like my connection to God has just grown so much, um, not just at Montreat, but coming back from Montreat every single year. Um, I just feel so much stronger in my faith and it, um, I feel like I'm able to go out into the real world and spread God's love. Um, and so another way that I really like to get involved in youth group, which may seem like a small thing, but I love going to prayer breakfast every week. Um, you can, I mean, I get to see Elizabeth every week. I get to see my friends, um, but I'd say one of the biggest things for me and the reason I enjoy it so much is because it's a way to get my younger brother involved, who's a sophomore um, at Academic Magnet. And, you know, he's always played club soccer, too, and has had trouble getting involved. And so I really just feel like it's just a good feeling being knowing that I'm helping him make connections and grow as a person and um, grow closer to God. So... But yeah, that's just a little bit about my time at MPPC. I'm definitely going to miss it in college, um, but I'm so thankful for all the time I've had. And it'll definitely help me in college, um, joining groups like FCA and things like that, just really getting involved in college because I have such a strong foundation now. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven. He sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Please join me as we go to God in prayer. 
God of the heavens, listen to us as we come to you this day, as we try to reconnect with you in a more intentional way. It's a crazy world right now. School is different, sports are different, plays are different, and even church is different. We come to you with so many questions about why we were disconnected this way over the co course of the year. But then we were reminded that we were actually just reconnected in a new way. We learned how to adapt and accept the new normal. We have learned how to worship you and be your disciples outside of the four walls of the MPPC sanctuary. Reconnection with ourselves has also been tough, O oh Lord. We have had to get to know ourselves better than ever, and for some of us, this is hard. Be with us in that struggle. Reconnection with diff different groups of people has been tough as well. We have had to adjust to new things, and God, we are not the best at trying new things. Reconnection with you has been the biggest blessing through the pandemic. We have seen you work miracles amidst tragedy. Let us look for miracles instead of negative aspects in our life, O oh Lord. It hasn't been easy, God, but you have been with us every step of the way, just as we connect together now as we say the prayer you taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us for, from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. All that we have is a gift from God. In faith and gratitude, we now return a portion of what we have so abundantly received as faithful disciples of the promises of God. As you are giving online or in person today, I would like to take a moment to describe to you what MPPC has given me. This church has provided me with so many opportunities to grow my faith. My baptism started my journey and my confirmation affirmed it. But not only have I been given the opportunity to grow my own faith, I have also been blessed with the chance to see God grow in others as well. Whether it's a quiet retreat or fast-paced missions trip, being able to witness God in our community and beyond has been the ultimate gift. These people and experiences are the reason my faith continues to grow. Thank you. After remembering our personal MPPC stories and understanding how grateful we are, let us go to God with thanksgiving. Creator of all things, we come to you today thankful for a church that loves us so much and to God with indescribable grace. Take these gifts today and use them so that we might live out what, is, what it is that we believe. Connect us so that we may never lose the art of reconnecting with you, ourselves, and one another. Amen. Having been reminded this morning that the future of the church is in very good hands. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face smile upon you and be gracious unto you. And may the countenance of God rise before you and give you peace both now and always. Amen. Here I am, Lord, is me.